The Environmental Leadership Awards, or ELA, was uh, instituted about 16 years ago, and they were set up just to really give people the initiative to go off and try to find ecological opportunities across the company, ways to save carbon dioxide, way to reduce pollutants, etc. And it really is based upon people's individual initiatives or groups of people's initiatives to, to take ownership of a problem and try and solve it. And so for 16 years we've been building momentum across the company and more and more projects each year are, in, are initiated and completed. And so for this year we had 29 projects that were initiated and completed in our best year ever for environmental leadership. All together, the 29 projects, we saved over 370,000 metric tons of carbon dioxide this year which to put in a more common man's understanding, that would be more than four manufacturing facilities worth of carbon dioxide emissions in one particular year. It also equates to about 71,000 vehicles. So and this is an annual contribution now, so that's in perpetuity, we will be saving that much uh, CO2 in the environment. So uh, that's really is a remarkable accomplishment. And the good news for the company as well is we, are, we do save money. Uh, through these projects. We estimate around $50 million annually will be saved because of these projects this year. So we win uh, from a business perspective. We, we recognize that um, ecological improvement can also be good for our business. And that's a message that we all need to understand better at the pressure. Well, let's take the Trenton engine plant, for example. That's where we'll be building our new Pentastar engine. Um, we did a brownfield approach to the Trenton engine plant. So we refurbed it from the, from the inside out. And uh, in redeveloping the processes and reconfiguring the plant, we uh, reduced our, um, our energy usage by 39%. We had a goal to have a zero waste to landfill when we redid this project, this plant, and we achieved our goal, so there's zero waste to landfill at the Trenton engine plant today. And we have a 47% recyclable uh, material throughout the plant, so three very huge accomplishments for the people who took that project on. We redesigned the distribution system for Mopar parts, and in doing so, we uh, are saved 4.6 million miles traveled by our delivery trucks. So what, what does that mean to us? Well, that's 722,000 gallons of gasoline. No small savings there. Um, and other uh, 1,500, over 1,500 gallons of oil are saved and uh, 1,300 tires. So again, there's, we're saving costs, but we're also helping the ecology out as well. So we're, uh, just tremendous accomplishments by the folks down in Mopar. In Newtown, Pennsylvania, one of their innovations in the dealership was to uh, use the oil from uh, changing oil to burn it to heat the facility. And so, yet again, a way of, instead of having oil go to, to waste and landfill or, be, or create energy to recycle, we were able to just burn it and use it to create heat in the, in the dealership. So, that's great. a great accomplishment. Being ecologically sound and eliminating waste is good business for both the environment and for Chrysler itself. And, uh, you know, we see a, a growing trend in the company. Um, the ELA award ceremony and, and award infrastructure allows for best practice sharing across organizations so people can see what other folks are doing and maybe that creates a, an idea, germinates an idea in the minds of a group and we encourage them to, you know, take that idea and run with it and hopefully we'll see them at the end of the year at the ELA awards with a great contribution to both the environment and to the company.